everyone, welcome to day one of Glammas. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing L'Oreal's Magic Root Cover Up. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Giselle. I also go by Stink Face Glam. I cover a bunch of lifestyle topics on my channel. I've been showing you my hair journey along the way. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I'll leave my hair journey videos linked up above as well as down below. And I've been doing this cover up thinning hair series for a few months now with different products. So I also will leave those videos links down below and in the cards above as well. In this cover up thinning hair series, I try out products that I found on the internet or that you've recommended to me to help cover up my sparse areas and bald spots. I am suffering from hair loss and hair thinning, so I am trying out whatever products I can to temporarily cover them until I can find out a permanent solution to help my hair. In this video, I am trying out L'Oreal's Magic Root Cover Up in the shade Black. If you wanna be a part of the video, you have to help mommy and you have to look that way. Vegas wants to make another appearance, but he's a little camera shy today. I start off by reading the instructions on the back of the packaging. It does say to cover your shoulders with a towel, shake well. I didn't cover my shoulders because I had on a t-shirt that I really didn't care if it got messed up. Spray on dry hair about six inches from regrowth using light, steady pressure to blend in the color. Let it dry for one minute and it should be done. So as you can see in the try-on, I did apply it according to the instructions on the box. I will say if you are not careful, you can definitely Definitely spray a lot in one area. My advice is to constantly move your hand as you are applying it so that you don't apply a big chunk of product in one specific area. I will give it a 4 out of 5 as far as ease of application goes, but I will say that it can easily become a 3 out of 5. I also experienced that stiff hair feeling that I did feel with a couple of other products that I've tried before, which I'm not really crazy about. I really want my hair to feel normal instead of feeling like it actually has product in it, so that was kind of a turn off for me. As I was separating my hair with my hands I did get the product on my hands but it did say to wait a minute for it to dry down so that was to be expected the product also did get on my face even though I tried to cover my face with my hand but it was easy enough to get it off with soap and water so this is what my hair looked like before I filled it in and this is what my hair looked like after I filled it in now the hairline was a little bit more difficult to apply because I did feel it was harder for me to know where to apply the product and where not to make it look as natural as possible I do think that at first when I applied it it came off a little little bit too thick by the hairline instead of being like thinner here and getting thicker as you go back. This is what my hairline looked like the day of application and what my hairline looks like now the day after application. If I continuously use this product I could learn how to apply it on the hairline to make it look as natural as possible. However, I will probably never use this product again and I'm gonna tell you why. The amount of transfer that this product has is insane. Insane. They say to wait about a minute for the product to not transfer. The lie detector determined that was a lie. After five minutes, I touched my hair and it was still coming off on my fingers. And I said, okay, maybe it just put a lot and I just need to give it a little bit more time. I waited an hour, three hours, a whole day with sleep and everything and still transfer. It actually transferred onto my pillowcase as well when I was sleeping, which I will show a picture right here of my pillowcase with the product on it. Yeah, I'm not a happy camper. I am itching to shake this off of my head. Honestly, I can't wait to wash my hair and get this product out. So I'm gonna quickly go over the pros and cons of the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up. The pros is the price. I do believe that the price is reasonable and it's affordable and you can find these in any drugstore. I found this actually in Family Dollar. The coverage is fantastic. I really do believe that if you have thinning hair and you're going out to an event and you need really quick, fast coverage, this is your go-to. They also have various colors. I do think they could work on the shade range. For the most part, their colors will color match majority of hair colors. I'm gonna say a con is the application process. Even though I said it was easy, I can see how it can be rather difficult for people because of how fast and how much product comes out at once when you do spray. I also cannot, cannot, cannot stand the transfer. When you sweat, it will drip down. If you brush your hair, it will literally go onto your skin. If you put your head somewhere, like on a pillowcase, it will transfer. Yesterday, I put my hand like this on my head, just laying down, nothing crazy, didn't move it, just put my head like this, and then I moved it and... 
right now you can tell a little bit here but I'll show you a picture right here of what it looked like yesterday all the other products I've tried in this series have never transferred as bad as this one it's not sweat proof it never dries down it makes your hair feel stiff I'm really just not a fan of this product so there you have it that is my review of the L'Oreal magic root cover-up in the color black if you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next so you'll be notified when I drop my next video for the month of December I'm going to be doing a glamis special which I will be filming 12 videos this month and giving you lifestyle content hair videos fashion videos beauty videos please be sure to like and comment any products below that you think I should try out next let me know if you tried this product and your thoughts on it follow me on my other social medias I will leave them somewhere on the screen and also link down below in the description box and as always thank you so much for watching this video for watching any of my videos and I will see you all on the next one bye